Hi, my name is Jody Decker, and I'm preparing this yoga video for the York County Library in South Carolina. Today's practice, we are going to start supine down on our backs. And if you have a block or a small firm pillow that you can use, this will work as well. Have that within reach nearby. Today's practice, we're going to emphasize core strength as well as spinal twisting. So coming down to a comfortable position on your back with your block or your pillow nearby. We're gonna to start tonight's practice by taking our hands to the lower part of your belly, just underneath the navel. Close the eyes and begin the yoga breath, which is breathing in through the nose, fully and completely expanding through the belly and then exhaling through the nose. Each breath completely filling the body, expanding the belly and filling it with air. Keeping the eyes closed, taking a full minute of breath. On our next inhale, we can begin to lengthen the arms, extending toes and fingertips to opposite walls. Stretching as long as we can. One more deep breath in. And we exhale, hugging our right knee into our chest. Begin to flow. Each inhale takes us as long as we can stretch and our exhale brings opposite knee into the chest. Slowly moving back and forth from side to side, taking our time. There's no hurry to get anywhere. The next time, our right knee comes into the chest. Let's pause, holding it in, and taking the left palm to the outside of the right knee and pulling our leg diagonally across. So getting a little deeper down to the piriformis, pausing here for a breath. And inhale, opening back out. Exhale, bringing the opposite leg in, right palm to the outside of our left knee, pulling it diagonally across towards our shoulder. Exhale, release. Take both feet down, lining up your heels so they're directly underneath their hips. Bring in your block, and you can use the skinny side or the thicker part between the inner thighs. And we're gonna use this for a little extra inner thigh work. So as we inhale, we're gonna lift up, press through the heels, squeezing our glutes as we lift, squeezing the knees together. So you're squeezing your block or pillow and then exhale, slowly roll back down. If you'd like to add some arms, we can inhale, lift the arms up and overhead as the hips come up to the ceiling, and exhale, slowly tuck and round your way back down. Flowing and moving with our breath. As we lift the hips up, be sure to tighten through the glutes Engage the core, keep everything tight. On the next bridge, let's leave the hands by the side and just send the hips up as high as you can go. Walk the shoulder blades a little bit closer together, interlace fingertips, send the hips up an inch higher and then squeeze the block a little bit tighter, really firing the adductors, squeezing the inner thighs, making them work. And then exhaling, slowly release, coming all the way back down. Bringing our knees up to 90 degrees, pulling the belly in, 
Take the arms wide and then gently begin to windshield wiper the legs back and forth from side to side. Start with a small range of motion and see what you can tolerate. We're using the strength of our obliques and our core to lift the knees back to the center. So again, we're moving with our breath. Continuing to squeeze the block or whatever it is that you have between the knees. Let's do one more to each side so that we're ending on the opposite side that we started on. As we make our way back up into our 90 degree bend, we can remove our prop, set it to the side, stacking our knees above the hips, pull the tummy in a little bit tighter, and then one at a time, drop the leg out, inhaling, exhaling back. So the lower we release the leg to the mat and the straighter the leg goes, the harder it will be to maintain this neutral spine, engaging the core. So you can always bring the heel closer like this, if that feels better. If that's easy, begin to extend it a little bit more. So you can gaze to the ceiling, keep the neck in neutral, close the eyes if you'd like, and just focus on the core strength matching your movement to your breath. The next time your right leg is down, stay here, hold and hover as low as you can for two full complete cycles of breath. Exhale, slowly coming back. And then slowly drop the opposite leg out. Hold, hover. On your second exhale, bring both knees in, bring the chin up, and make just a few circles clockwise. Reversing that counterclockwise. And setting our heels down once again, taking the right leg over the left. Make sure that the foot's Flex, then reach through, hugging this left thigh into the chest, relaxing the head and neck down, stretching into the hip and outer thigh. Slowly release, and let's take the opposite leg across, flex the foot, reach through, hug the thigh into the chest. Slowly release, and let's begin to rock the knees from side to side in a windshield wiper fashion. The next time the knees move to your right, we'll roll completely over onto the right side, pressing the left palm into the mat, working our way up into a tabletop position. So we're coming onto all fours stacking the joints. So we want the hips to be right on top of the knees, shoulders right above the wrist. And we can always make a fist for a wrist if that feels better on the joints. So as we inhale, we drop the belly to the mat, bring the gaze up to the point where the ceiling meets the wall, and then exhale as we tuck and round. If we're feeling warm, go ahead and begin to really exaggerate the motion and make it as big as you can. After one more in each direction, we'll meet in child's pose.
As we come back into child's pose, remember you can take the knees as wide as you need to to create comfort. And let's think of this pose as kind of our home base. So if anything feels like it's too much today or uncomfortable for any reason, just drop back into child's pose. You're welcome to be here in any capacity. Take as many breaths as you need here. Next, inhale, turn the toes under, lifting our hips high, coming into our first downward facing dog. So take a moment to bicycle the heels out, just bending one knee at a time. It might feel good to shift your hips from side to side or even nod your head yes, or shake the head no. Coming back into that core strength, let's inhale our way to plank, lining your shoulders up over the wrist, pulling the tummy in as tight as you can. And if this is too much, maybe dropping here to your knees, coming into a supported plank. Holding here for one more breath, pressing up and back, downward facing dog. This time lifting both heels up together, really stretching through the bottoms of our feet and then sending both heels down. One more time, shifting into plank or supported plank, squeezing, engaging through the core. Exhale, back into downward facing dog, and then take baby steps up to the top of the mat. So you're coming into a forward fold. Maybe you'd like your block here. The block is basically an extension of your mat. On your next inhale, begin to reverse swan dive, reaching all the way up into a slight back bend and release hands to heart center. Looking down, making sure that your heels are directly in line underneath your hips, pick up the toes and then spread them nice and wide, creating a firm base. Inhale, arms come up overhead, interlace fingertips together. We're gonna turn the palms up Reach to the left, pressing weight into the outer edge of our right foot. And using your next inhale, come back to center. Exhaling other side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, press our palms out in front. Tuck the chin to the chest and really round through the upper back. Inhale, right back to center. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release the left palm down. Let's begin to flow from side to side. So each inhale takes us long to the center. Our exhale moves us to the other side. Taking your time, moving with the breath actively stretching our fingertips in opposite directions. One more time to each side. So we're ending on the opposite side that we started on. Inhaling our way back up to center, exhaling hands, heart center. Taking our legs nice and wide, angling our toes out to a 45 degree angle. So toes are angled out to the corners of our mat, heels in. We're gonna move into a moon flower. So we inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, hinge at the knees and pull the shoulder blades together. So we inhale length, reaching tall, five point star. Exhale, drop into the heels, squeezing our shoulder blades. Moving and flowing with our breath, maybe even challenging ourselves to drop a little bit deeper into this wide squat. Challenging the strength in your legs. One more time. We're going to move into a sunflower. Inhaling length. This time we exhale, hinge from the hips and just sweep the arms in front. Big inhale up. Exhale, hinge. Big sweep. 
Perfect. One more time, please. And on our next inhale, we reach as tall as we can and exhale, release into sun goddess. This is a strengthening pose. So we wanna exhale, try to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Palms are facing up. Toes can wiggle, pick them up, wiggle them around. Exhale, another inch or two deeper into your big squat. One more full cycle of breath. And with our next inhale, swoop the arms all the way up. Exhale, releasing hands to heart center. And let's shift the feet now. So the toes point forward. And our heels, or the edges of our feet, are parallel with the edges of the mat. We're gonna move into standing camel with our wide stance. So you're gonna take your fist and place them on either side of the spine just above the tailbone, or flat palm. And you're gonna inhale, length in the spine. And then you're gonna begin to lift and exhale into your spinal extension. So our gaze is to the ceiling, your face is nice and relaxed, and you can comfortably swallow here. So you wanna keep everything nice and relaxed. On our next breath, we slowly lift ourselves back upright. Walk the hands around to the front of the hips, hinge here, and then release into a wide-legged forward fold. So this is another place where you might want to have your block here to kind of close the distance. Dropping the crown of the head down towards the mat. Allow the head to just start feeling very heavy. So it's just dangling from the end of your spine. And you're going to begin to gently nod the head, yes. And shake the head, no. And on our next breath, begin to walk your hands out in front as far as you can go, planting them firmly into the floor in front of you. And then send the hips back behind, dropping your head between your arms. So we're creating some length and space between each vertebrae. Just like a wide-legged downward facing dog. Slowly begin to walk your hands through the legs and see if you can finger walk all the way to the outer edge of the mat now. Crown of the head might come a little bit closer to your mat. Inhale your way back to the center. Even for those of you that can comfortably reach the floor or the mat in front of you, let's all use a block for this pose that's gonna help keep your spine in more of a neutral position when we twist. We're gonna take the right palm directly under the nose on the block, and we're gonna inhale, sweep the left fingertips up, reaching into a spinal twist. Exhaling, slowly release. Inhaling, opposite side up. And exhale, release. One more time, inhaling our left palm up, this time pausing here and staying for three full deep breaths. So we could stay here or we can find the bind, looking for your back pocket. Continue to pull this left shoulder back, deepening into the twist. And with our next exhale, slowly release. And inhale, opposite palm up. So again, holding for three deep breaths, pausing here if this feels good, or finding the bind if that worked for you on the first side. On your next exhale, begin to slowly unwind, both palms coming down onto the back, onto the block. Let's bend this left knee so we're straightening and stretching through the inner thigh and the adductors, the muscles we worked so hard, squeezing the block earlier in class, and then gently switch sides. 
taking your time, moving back and forth. One more time on each side. And then we'll slowly walk around to the top of the mat, coming into our runner's lunge, and then just releasing the back knee to the mat. So we're gonna come all the way up into a hip flexor stretch. So the front knees stacking right on top of our heel. You can have your blocks on either side here. You can reach your hands to your thighs, or you can inhale arms all the way up overhead, exhaling our way into a slight back bend. Inhale, slowly release, hands to heart center, exhaling, palm to the inside of your foot, and then we're going to twist navel in towards the knee. Exhale, release, and reverse the twist. Slowly release both palms down, hinge from the hips, and move into half split. So you're drawing the big toe in towards your chin. Really lengthening through the hamstring and perhaps feeling it all the way into the calf, maybe into the Achilles tendon. Putting a bend in the knee. Let's begin to heel toe our foot across the mat, setting up for pigeon pose. So when we set it up from this approach, we can turn the toes under and then pull the pelvis back, taking it a little bit deeper. And then you can adjust further by making it more intense by taking the shin more parallel to the top of the mat. You're welcome to stay upright, or some of you may want to walk out to the block. Some of you may even want to stack the fist and then rest the forehead here. Choose the position that works best for your body today. And then settle in, enjoy the progressive opening of the hip. And let's take this time to focus on our breath. our next inhale. Begin to lift the chest back upright. Let's bend the back knee. And for some of us, that might be enough of a stretch. If you can reach back and feel your foot, let's pull the heel slightly in towards your low back. So we're lengthening and stretching through the quadricep, the muscle in the front of the thigh. And then on your exhale, push the foot away, creating just a little more spinal extension and more opening here through the chest and the anterior deltoids. Exhale, release. Bring the knees together. Have a seat in child's pose. Staying here as long as you need to. Inhale, back up into tabletop. Giant step forward with your opposite foot. So we're coming back into our supported lunge on the opposite leg. Maybe stacking two blocks or taking your hands to your thigh. If you want to take the hip flexor stretch a little deeper, push the hips forward to the top of the mat, inhaling arms up, exhaling slight back bend. Inhaling hands to heart center, exhale palm to the inside of the foot, twisting in towards the bent knee. And exhale, slowly release and reverse. Exhale, 
exhale, slowly release, shift back, half splits, hinging at the hips, drawing the big toe in towards the chin. Inhale, put a bend back in the knee and begin to heel toe the foot across the mat, making your way into pigeon pose. Settling into pigeon pose. Remember, if you want the stretch to be more intense, take the shin to the top of the mat and then begin to walk it out. Deep breathing in through the nose. Each exhale allows you to relax or melt a little bit deeper into the mat. Lights came out a little bit early for Shavasana. We're almost there. On your next inhale, begin to lift the chest back upright, bending our back knee. And if you can reach the foot on this side, pull the heel in towards your low back. And then exhale, press it away. Slowly release the leg, allow yourself to shift over to this hip. Bringing our feet forward, just tucking your tailbone under, rolling down onto your forearms until you're gently all the way down onto your back. Setting up for your final resting position, Shavasana or Parks Pose. So if you're not totally comfortable today on your back, try resting in sideline position or even coming up into a seated position. You can also try pressing into the, your back into a um, supported position. Closing your eyes, full deep breaths. And with our next inhale, beginning to bring our awareness back into the space, wiggling our fingers and our toes, bending our knees gently, moving from side to side, rolling completely over onto one side with the knees bent, pressing the palm into the mat, working your way up into a seated position. And let's end with a cleansing breath. Big inhale through the nose, audible exhale through the mouth. And let's take one last deep breath in. This time, exhaling our hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you for joining me tonight.